What's going on everyone, my name is Mitch Robs, and today we're going to be going over Tunnel Amplifier North with ampl Amplifier and Flex Amplifier. So this is specifically for those people that do have Amp Amplifier and Flex Amplifier, as there's not going to be hotspots on this amp that we have to deal with, so we can utilize a different pathing that we use for my other builds. So I do hope you guys enjoy this, if you like it, leave a like on the video and consider subscribing to my channel. I have a TikTok and I have a bunch of other things you should join. The Discord link is going to be in the description. So we're going to make this court, uh, short and quick because it's been a while since I've generally made a save the world video and uh, sorry for that. I just haven't feel, felt inspired for it. So sorry, this is a little bit late, um, but we're going to be going over this build. So Tunnel North can get hit on wave 3, 8, 13, 18, 23, and 28. And notable waves on that are going to be the Smasher wave on wave 23 is that can ruin a lot of people's builds. But there's no secret to this one. It's just a straight up damage tunnel where we bring them down the river side instead of the tunnel side and we have a smasher bridge in case smashers get through so what we're gonna do is um we're gonna have 6120 metal into this build for 102 structures as well as 63 traps used on it for 165 structures total um and let's go over those traps so we're gonna have two sound walls with all durability one reload four sound walls with all durability two reload one sound wall with all durability, one blue reload, one legendary reload. One sound wall with all durability, one purple reload, one legendary reload. Three walled arts with crit rating, crit damage, damage, reload speed, hill spells attached. Eleven walled arts with crit rating, crit damage, damage, reload speed, durability. Three walled arts with crit rating, crit damage, damage, crit damage, durability. Two broadsides with crit rating, double crit damage, damage, durability. Two wall dynamos with crit rating, crit damage, damage, reload speed, heal spells attached. Five wall dynamos with crit rating, crit damage, damage, reload speed, durability. Three wall dynamos with crit rating, double crit damage, damage, durability. Two gas traps with crit rating, crit damage, damage, crit damage, effect duration. Five. Okay, I think I swapped that up. But uh, we have, um, Two of those with uh, the double durability and then five with the crit rating, double crit damage, damage effect duration. I'll, I'll have it correct on the video. We'll have three ceiling zappers uh, with crit rating, double crit damage, damage durability. Four ceiling electric fields with all durability. One ceiling electric field with crit rating, crit damage, damage, crit damage, durability. Three wooden floor spikes with crit rating, double crit damage, crit rating, and heals bills attached. Three tar pits with all durability, two wall spikes with all damage, and then heals belts attached. The damage perks aren't really important, the heals belts attaches. And three floor traps with uh, heals belts attached, where I use floor freeze traps. So that comes out to a total of 63 traps. All right, so let's get on to the build. What's going on, guys? My name is Mitch Robs, and today we're going to be doing Canny Valley Endurance Tunnel North. Uh, so this is going to be if you have flex amplifier, so all the way over there is flex amplifier, and if you have ampl amplifier. Um, I know this is a little bit late in terms of like the last release I did, um, I just haven't been inspired to do videos for Save the World recently, so um, I've been on a little bit of a break. Um, I don't know if I'm going to return to constant uploads after this video, uh, we'll see how it comes, but um, just wanted to let you guys know that. This will likely be the last canny Valley Endurance video I make, uh, unless things like just absolutely implode with this base, uh, which is possible because Epic has said that they do want to change up um, how traps work a little bit. But anyways, so last time we built Tunnel East, highly recommend it. Um, we built the Smasher Bridge for this and we did new pathing. So we took them down the middle pathway instead of this left pathway. And a lot of people realized oh shit like i can't bring him down here with the old bill mitch like what the fuck do i do well i have solutions for you all right so we're gonna start off with our sinkhole east build right this isn't the expensive expensive one although you could probably get away with the expensive one uh bringing them up through here i'm just using the cheap one because i have the cheap one in my base all right so we're gonna come right over here right and we're going to start with this. So we're going to notice the spawns. There's the spawns up here. Up here. We're going to we're going to notice the typical spawns. There's spawns over here across here. All those typical spawns, all right? So, normally I would take them down this path uh, just because there's hot spots all inside right here. And this screws up a lot of builds normally, but since those hot spots aren't there, this is a lot more area to work with than this tunnel over here. So, we're actually going to block off that tunnel. 
So let's do that right now. So what I want to do is we're going to place a wall here at the top of this ramp. We're going to go behind it. We're going to have a cone facing the northwest. A wall. Cone facing the northwest. Wall. And I want to make sure I get this block off absolutely perfect for y'all. All right. I mean, didn't really have to do much there. But cone right facing the northwest. And then, or facing the north and then a wall right here. All right. So that's all the block off we're going to need to prevent them from going over there. Um, now, I am going to suggest that you guys do add a wall dynamo on this, like healing wall dynamo, um, solely for the case that some weirdo husk wants to go over there. We're just going to have healing on it to protect against that. It doesn't really happen, but I mean, weird shit happens in Fortnite, so we're going to prepare for it. All right. And the rest of the stuff we're going to do is we are going to prat them down this, um, but for our sinkhole east, because this is a cross spawn, if we leave this, like, if we set up our tunnel, like, and we don't block off behind it over here, it's going to end up to where we uh, don't actually, um, like, the smashers for sinkhole east will come down this way. So we're going to place a wall here, a floor, a cone, a wall, a cone facing the southeast, a cone facing the east, cone facing the northeast, wall, wall wall cone facing the northeast cone facing the northeast cone facing the southeast wall floor cone and then we're going to place a wall right here this should be good enough that like um tunnel east mini bosses will come under this right here or not even tunnel east flex east yeah this should be fine yeah yeah, yeah. we're going to block that off and i think even we're going to have block off behind this um i just haven't gotten that far in the screenshot yet but we're going to come right over here to our pathway and get on with that. All right. So realistically, you guys will notice if you've done any portion of anything in my tunnels before, you'll notice that it's like the same type of tunnel design. Like you guys could probably do it on your own at this point, but I mean, I'm here to help you guys. So we're going to place a wall here, a wall here. All right. We're going to place a cone here we're gonna face it towards the northwest we're gonna surround it in walls this wall is gonna be an edited window wall and same with this one we're gonna place a uh ceiling tile here ceiling tile here a windowed wall here windowed wall here all right uh and just to make sure we're going through our tunnel all right behind this wall we're gonna add a floor like this facing the north and then we're gonna have a cone facing the, I want to say northeast, all right? We're going to come right here, and we're going to place a floor, a wall, a regular wall, not a windowed wall, because I'm a doomy. We're going to place a ceiling tile above. We're going to place a floor, wall, all right? And I just want to make sure how I cut this. All right, so we're going to place a wall here, wall here, windowed wall here, cone facing the north, we're going to have a wall. All right. So it look, should look something like that. A ceiling tile. Let's see. We're going to keep going forward. Yep, that makes sense. Good job, Mitchell. You're looking exactly at your screenshots. <laughs> All right. So we're going to come forward. We're going to place a uh, floor here. A wall. A wall. We're going to place a floor here. A cone. A wall. Cone facing the southeast. And then just a wall right here. And we'll place a wall here as well, just to complete the block off. We're going to place a ceiling tile here. We're going to have a little edited uh, low wall right here, just for pathing purposes. So when they walk across here, they have to go through this tile. All right. We're going to keep continuing forward. And there's going to be a um, floor right here, a windowed wall here, a windowed wall right here. All right, so we might actually not have this cone here. Yeah, let's not have that cone there and just keep it like that. All right, we're going to have a floor here and a wall here. Normally, I would have a uh, ceiling tile right here, but this caused phasing, having ceiling tiles here um, with smashers on the smasher bridge. So we don't like phasing, so we're just going to keep it out of it. We're going to have a ceiling tile here. All right, we're going to have a little low wall. Oh my god. It placed in every single place I didn't want it to place. So go figure. But we'll have like a low wall here, low wall here, and a low wall here. 
keep getting rid of that. And I want to make sure I get that perfectly correct for you guys. All right. And honestly, um, I have these as windowed walls, so we're going to make it that. So not even low walls. We're going to make them window walls. And we'll place a floor here. Cone. And then a wall over here this way. So a wall behind each of these windowed walls. And it'll be all like a wall right here. All right. So it should look something like that. All right. And let's continue on forward into the tunnel. And then we'll finally have a wall here, a wall, a cone facing the northwest, uh, and then a ceiling right here. And that should be it for the tunnel pathway. Uh, there's not much else to it. There is a spawn up here that we're going to have to take care of, and we might do it right now. Um, I'll build the outline for you guys right now. Uh, so let's get that cracking. This is just my old design for it. So it's just going to basically be, I think, let me look at it. Yeah, I'm doing this... This, it's been a while since I built this, let's be real with you guys. Uh, so I'm, I'm trying to remember all my builds uh, through the screenshots and figure out what I did. But basically, I put two windowed walls here. Uh, like, legitimately, this spawn trap area up for this spawn, because there's a spawn right up here, and they'll walk straight to your amplifier down this way or across here. So you have to take care of it. I built this quite literally two and a half. No, maybe not two years. Maybe a year and a half ago. Still works perfectly fine. So we're going to have a low wall right here. A wall floor wall wall ceiling ceiling and then we'll have a floor wall wall ceiling like that okay simple enough and then we're gonna put like a little bit of a roof on it just to cover your spawns a little bit so it's just gonna be four tiles like that so on these tiles above we're gonna have all durability ceiling electric fields um, we're gonna just do this right now because frankly I would forget about it so one two three four we're going to have all durability, two reload speed sound walls. So, let me grab those. One. And then we'll have one oh, right here. That works too. We'll have our reload speed wall darts. So, reload speed wall dart. Uh, I'll just put... Well, let's actually do like a real reload speed one. No healing on it. So, reload, reload. We'll come into here. We'll have reload speed... Uh, wall dynamos so let's grab the reload speed wall dynamos one here one here and then we'll have a reload speed wall dart is here as well we're going to have tar pits on the ground because so little husks will actually spawn up here and go through that we don't really need the durability so we're gonna have tar pits up here we're going to have gas traps so two gas traps so i'm just gonna have these as the crit build ones so crit rating, double crit damage, damage, durability. We'll have another tar pit at the end of it. Wow, shocker. Uh, I guarantee their CC usage isn't going to be used up by this tunnel by the time they get here. So screw it, all tar pits. Um, and then we'll just do um, two broadsides. And I'll just make these uh, high crit ones. Because realistically, I don't think anything really should get this far. Um, and then we'll do another gas trap. All right. So this should cover all the spawns up here, right? Um... I don't think anything has ever gotten through this. Uh, don't shoot me if a Smasher spawns up here and somehow gets through it, but um, they should run the Smasher Bridge if a Smasher does get through this, but I don't think they will. So they've never done it on me before, but you might have low enough tech where they will. So that's a thing. All right. I also have a um, lava shield that connects right here. So I have a wall here, wall, 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 wall. And I think that's it for the lava shield. It's really not that much. It's just for husks that spawn up top right here. And they fall down the build and they're like, oh no, we can throw now. So I think it's just to prevent that. Um, but realistically, that's about it uh, for that little section. Uh, let me make sure I go through this perfectly for you guys. And we did. Lit. So let's go through the actual tunnel and just start applying stuff. So, I know this is like way more informal than normal on my bids. Maybe it's not. Maybe I'm just misremembering how I do videos, but I don't I don't give two shits anymore. Uh, so we're going to have an Aldera 1 reload speed sound wall. So, let's go find that. Aldera 1 reload speed right here, and we're going to place it here. We're going to have a reload speed wall dart. So, I'm just going to make this uh, heals bills attached uh, just so it does live longer. We're going to have a 
uh, healing wall spike on the back of this and on the back of this. And we might actually run out of structures, believe it or not, uh, because I do have all my other builds in here, which actually kind of doesn't make sense to me, but whatever. I guess because I have every single amplifier built instead of just like um, the normal, like where you get one off. But we're going to have that here. We're going to have an Alder, a blue reload sound wall. Boom. We're going to have a uh, wall dynamo. This is going to have a heal spells attached to perk. And then we're going to have an Alder at two reload speed. Uh, which we call it uh, sound wall here. But I'm just going through my screenshots because, hey, why not? So all durability, two reload speed. We're gonna have an all durability, one reload speed here with, I think we can put heals builds attached on this, but I'm just gonna put a one reload speed on here. Um, realistically, this isn't gonna get too crazy um, used consistently, but if you wanna put a heals builds attached on that, that's perfectly okay, so it survives longer. But for the gas traps, two of our gas traps are gonna actually be the double durability ones just for a little bit of extra durability so they stay up the entire endurance. So we'll just have two right here. All right. We'll come back behind here. We'll place a wall there because I forgot to place it. And we're going to place a reload speed wall dart. Reload speed wall dart. All right. And those will shoot through here. And remember, on wave 23, we do get that smasher wave. So um, it can be a little bit weird. We're also going to place a wall right here. Um, just so that flingers can't throw from there. I don't think they can, but uh, just to be safe. All right. We're then going to place a uh, crit build ceiling gas traps. So one, two of them here. Um, so we'll just cover those with uh, the ceiling gas traps just to like filter out the rest of the husks. We already placed our double reload. So this is gonna be our purple reload one. So purple reload speed. We're going to have our wooden floor spikes. So just our double crit rating, double crit damage. We'll have a wall dynamo. And I'll just have this as like a reload speed one. Um, you could probably do it as a crit build one and be just as effective, but I'm just going to do it as that. Um, I want to check what I have on this. I think I, I have a wall dart. Yeah, I definitely do have a wall dart here. So it's just going to be a wall dart with reload speed and heals builds attached. I really like my heals builds attached wall darts, if you guys can't tell. Um, solely because um, if you are using them close to where a propane explodes, they're going to be able to heal that wall as well as... Uh, they're really good at just nuking all the little things down, as well as adding damage to like smashers and stuff that you wouldn't possibly be able to kill otherwise. We're gonna come right over to here and we're also gonna place a, a wall dart here and this is just gonna be a reload speed one and this is gonna be a crit build one. All right, so I just didn't wanna forget those and I saw them out of my peripheral, so we're gonna go over there. We're gonna come right into here and we're going to place, I think I have another sound wall here for some reason. Um, don't really know why. You can just place an all or two reload, I guess here. Uh, it's on a different reload time than this one, so that's fine. We're gonna have our wooden floor spikes. Yeah, I went really excessive with the sound walls here. So one, two there. I guess because it, it does get hit a lot, but still. So we're gonna also place a reload speed uh, wall dynamo. And this is gonna be right, that's a heals builds for one. We're gonna place one right there. We're going to place a wall dart with reload speed. So let's grab that. And this one's gonna get used a lot, so it'll probably run out of durability, believe it or not, but whatever. We're gonna place a reload speed wall dart here. Reload speed wall dart here. All right. We're gonna have a ceiling electric field here. So just our standard crit build one. And this is just so when they round this corner that it's able to go off and get damage off because they're not gonna stay in that uh, tile space for very long. We're going to place a wall dynamo and these are just gonna be staggered wall dynamos. So one reload and one non-reload. So reload speed, uh, crit build one right here. And you'll just find that, like, I really like them. Once they've gone off, they can go off at different times now. So that's the reason I really do that. Uh, but, I mean, I know a lot of people are going to say that's a little bit, like, weird or whatever. But I don't know. It makes a lot of sense to me. We're going to place a tar pit at the end of this. So let's find our tar pit. I have a lot of trouble. So I haven't played this game in probably, like, two weeks. Um, just because I've been doing other things and playing other video games. And, uh, man, I'm having a hard time navigating my menu. So we'll have our ceiling zapper here. A ceiling zapper here and here. And those are just our standard crit build ones. We'll have a reload speed um, wall dynamo. And this is going to be right here on this wall. And then we'll have two uh, heavy crit ones. 
So heavy crit, heavy crit. And then we'll have the same uh, with wall darts. So heavy crit, heavy crit, boom. And then regular reload speed one right here. All right, and then we'll just have another regular reload speed one right here because we have to leave three uh, tiles of space, three connection points of space between our uh, smasher bridge and our tunnel or like any wall connections. So that's why we have that. So we can't have anything here because that's what, oh, we could technically have a wall there, but we're not going to. Um, you can't have anything within three connection tiles of uh, your smasher bridge uh, amplifier. All right. So that should be, I think, about all the uh, traps in this, realistically. I think I do have our healing uh, floor freeze traps. So all durability heals bills attached. I do have these on these first three. Um, you might think that's a little bit weird, but uh, these are going to take a lot of abuse from propane, these healing gas traps. And I want them to be able to heal back up and have the potential to heal back up versus just taking a couple shots at early waves and losing them. So I think that is really about it for this amplifier. Um, let me check through my screenshots and see if I missed anything. I don't think I did. If I did, you guys can roast me in the comments, but I didn't uh, because I went through one by one and did it. But thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I'll probably, I don't know if I actually have gameplay for this amplifier. I probably don't actually, um, but it is a longer pathway than the other amplifier. Um, and it's really solid. It doesn't ever fail. That's why I've just never cared to record it. But um, it should work perfectly fine. What's going to happen is they're going to go through the tunnel. They're going to take a lot of damage, take consistent damage from the gas traps. And Smashers maybe make it back here. Um, if they do make it through the tunnel by some godforsaken reason, they do run the Smasher Bridge and they're going to charge here and then run up here. Walk up here and then charge at the amplifier again and keep doing that. So I do hope you guys enjoyed this video, uh, leave a like on it, and consider subscribing to my channel. This will likely be my last Canny Endurance video for a really long time, like genuinely, and I know that might freak a couple of you guys out or whatever, but whatever. Anyways, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Peace.